Hey there, if you have been wondering, is there a way to bring your mid-journey images to life? Now there's a way to do that, and I'm gonna show you how. Now I have been experimenting with animating images for almost a few days now. And what I've found is abstract images work the best for animation, right? Of course, you can create photorealistic images and then try to animate it. But I will also show an example of that. But to get started, we'll first use abstract images. It simply works great with these animations. Now I have a very simple prompt over here, which you can use for this particular demo. So I'm going to type forward slash imagine, and I'm going to paste this prompt and I'm going to hit it. And now let me break it down for you. So I simply want to create an abstract organic shape, which feels like it's floating in space. And this example works absolutely great for, for animation. So abstract 3D object levitating in space. Mobius, so Mobius strip is like a convoluted shape um, that has, you know, th that has no ending to it. Uh, minimalism, neon, and I'm, I'm specifying the color uh, scheme over here. So I want neonish colors, organic shape. So I want the, the 3D object to have an organic shape uh, and it should be a dark background, right? So I'm using this particular prompts over here for a very specific reason. And that's because organic shapes, 3D object or sh shaped organically, which is levitating in space. Uh, if you add an animation effect to it, it's simply going to look really amazing. And you can create a continuous animation. I will show that to you how you can do that. And you can use this for your website, for your app, for your tech app, having the dark mode set on or like a dark background. It simply works really great. And yeah, look at these images that we have over here. Let's choose one of them. I'm going to choose. I really like the second image, so I'm going to upscale that one. Or maybe I'm thinking what might look stunning, what might naturally look great when we animate it right actually the third one also looks great but i really like the colors in there the neonish the purple and the orange colors in second image so let's work with this one right now all right so we have our image ready all i have to do right now is click on the image right click and just save image on your desktop right that's it so i have generated my image so now let's go ahead and see how we can animate them now this is where the real magic is going to happen what you see here right now is runway ml and to get that, all you gotta type is runwayml.com and you have this landing page over here. Now, RunwayML is a platform to create text, to create videos from text prompts, right? Just like Midjourney creates images from text prompts, RunwayML does it for videos. And it's not just that, RunwayML has a lot of other video AI models, but what I'm going to show in this demo is how you can animate an image that you already have. Once you log into Runway ML and create your profile, you're going to land on this dashboard over here. And you will see over here, there are a, a lot of other tools which I was talking about, but what we will focus on is over here, text to video. And this is what is the latest launch from Runway ML, which is the Gen 2 model. You might keep hearing Runway Gen 2, right? So click on this text to video, generate video with text prompts. And as soon as you land over here, what you see is a very simple interface. So there is an option over here to upload an image. And there is the space over here where you can type in any kind of text prompts, right? There are also other options uh, that you can explore. But for now, it's going to be very straightforward what I will show you. So you're going to click over here on the image section. Now you can drag and drop any image that you have or just upload it. Click over here. Now I'm going to use the image that I've already generated with Midjourney. So it's going to upload that. And there you go. You see the reference image that I just uploaded. For this particular demo, we will not use any kind of text prompts. All the viral animations that you're seeing from images right now, in fact, they don't have any text prompts. All they do is just input an image and what Runway is doing is it's trying to understand the context of the image. It's trying to understand what is the subject of that image 
and it's going to create an animation based on that. Now for abstract images, it works great because any kind of animation, like a kind of diffusion that is required or any kind of motion will still look amazing, right? In maybe an hour or two if you want to get this done in After Effects. But in here, the whole thing is going to take you less than a minute. And I'm going to show that to you. So the image is loaded and that's it. Don't write any text prompt in there. Just hit generate. We're going to wait for uh, a few seconds and let me uh, show it to you when it's ready. And there you go. The animation is ready. It's pretty cool, right? What you get is a four second animation and that's good enough. Now you can use this particular video and loop it around and then keep replaying it, right? And it can be background of any screen of maybe a landing page of maybe an app, um, icons, you know, you can get really creative with this one. Here are some more examples of image to video that I wanted to share with you. 